Bethune-Cookman University, giving you relevant information, standing on a firm foundation of legacy, accredited academics, aggressive athletics, and the pride of BCU, the Marching Wildcats. You're watching Webcat News. Hi, and welcome to Webcat News. I'm Cecily Wilson. Let's get you plugged into what's happening right here on campus. When Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune founded this institution, she laid out her expectations for each and every student. It was called the President's Convocation, and over the years, it's developed. Our current president, Dr. Trudy Kibbe reed continues the legacy of our founder for a new class of students. Webcat correspondent Daphne Corville has the story. Those powerful words from Dr. Clanton C. W. Dawson Jr. motivating BCU students to highlight their integrity, demonstrate their responsibility, and show their character. Dawson's mission is leaving students and faculty inspired to know who they are and what they represent. That we understand what our name is, because I really do believe when you know your name, you know your purpose. The President's Convocation is a tradition started by Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune, establishing the understanding of the institution's legacy by protecting and building its name. But this is one of the most powerful convocations we had. I felt the Spirit of God there. Powerful enough to inspire students to willingly enter to learn and depart to serve. Like I'm left out of there feeling important. Like anybody that says anything to me can't bring me down. Like because my name is Victory. <laughs> BCU students and faculty were left with encouraging words, but the one key point is to know your name, Victory. I'm Daphne Corville, Webcat News. Now here are a group of students certainly taking that message to heart. The BCU Royal Court. And for the first time in the university's history, there's a male counterpart to compliment Miss BCU 2011, Charlena Kennedy. His name, Jacques Durand. Definitely, I'm humbled and honored to serve in this position, especially being the first Mr. Bethune-Cookman University. I feel like I have a certain bar to set for other generations and other Mr. Bethune-Cookman Universities to follow. I feel like the expectation is really high, um, especially for the court as a whole, because we have to just find a way to make it all blend and make it work. Uh, but I do like to remind people that it is all of our first time being queens and kings of this institution. So we're, we're doing our best and we're working to do everything we can to make this royal court the best royal court that Bethune-Cookman University has ever seen. Way to represent, guys. You make us proud. We'll hear more from Mr. and Miss BCU in the coming weeks. But right now, we want you to focus your attention on this beautiful, brand new 750 Li BMW. Pretty hot, huh? BCU alum and board of trustee member Joyce Moorhead wanted to give back to her university, so she and her husband Thomas, who owned BMW of Sterling in Sterling, Virginia, handed over the keys to Dr. Trudy Kibbe Reed to represent BCU in style. And it's all lights, camera action for the Marching Wildcats getting the national spotlight once again. This time, ESPN is featuring the drumtastic drumline and a commercial for a recent Monday night football game between the Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots. The 46-member line put in a full day of work for their moment of fame. It was an honor for us to uh, actually get the call from ESPN to, to do the commercial. So, you know, that was uh, an experience. You know, you get that call and you say, wow, somebody's choosing us to do this. Uh, where you're going to be viewed uh, 40 million people. Anytime that you can be on uh, national TV, you know, and the exposure that it gives the uh, institution, that's always a great day. Now, this isn't the first time the Marching Wildcats have received a national television exposure. ESPN has also featured the students in The Battle. That's a look into the day-to-day -day operations of HBCU bands. But just in case you've missed the NFL commercial, here's a quick look. Face to face, time after time, the man and the mastermind, Miami's flash and dash, eye to eye, across the line, New England, Miami, on Monday Night Football.
Now, who has the best band in the land? You already know. And speaking of the best, the 2012 Honda Battle of the Bands is coming up January 28th. And who will be participating? Well, that all depends on your vote. So go to HondaBattleOfTheBands.com to register and vote for our Marching Wildcats. Now, if you have a BCU story idea or information you'd like to share, email us at webcatnews at cookman.edu. And if you missed an episode, you don't have to worry. Check us out on YouTube at Webcat News. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.